One thing that I think people forget about cannabis and people is how long our history is. There's evidence of cannabis being used for over 5,000 years. Sometime around the 30s and 40s, therapeutic use of cannabis faded with what is generally now recognized as wrong-headed hysteria and propaganda that stigmatized the plant. Because of the legal status of cannabis, it's been very difficult to conduct research on the therapeutic benefits of cannabis. The Canadian and U.S. governments overwhelmingly spent money examining the potential harms of cannabis rather than studying the potential therapeutic benefits. Really within the past year or so, we've seen the development of licensed producers of cannabis. Previously, it was incredibly difficult to access cannabis for research purposes, and even if you could access it, the quality and variety of cannabis was very limited. So it's a very exciting time for us. We finally have the raw materials we need to do some of the essential human research to find out how cannabis works for a variety of conditions. PTSD and cannabis study is probably one of the first of its kind in the world. It's the first randomized controlled trial for whole plant cannabis in the treatment of post-traumatic stress disorder. The study will recruit 40 participants looking at combat veterans, first responders, victims of violent crime. We will bring them into the lab, show them how to use the equipment that we will be providing them. There are four different strains that we are testing based on content of the cannabinoids in them and a placebo control as well. As it stands, the existing treatments for PTSD are insufficient for a considerable number of people who suffer. So what we're hoping is that we can add to the therapeutic options for treating this debilitating disorder and that perhaps cannabis will be one of them and if we find that it's effective. This really is groundbreaking for using medical cannabis for the treatment of mental health disorders. Tilray is a federally authorized medical cannabis uh, production and uh, distribution and research organization. We're really taking the lead in opening up clinical research into therapeutic applications for cannabis. As a BC-based company, Tilray is interested in forging relationships with local post-secondary academic institutions, and UBC is the first one that we're happy to announce in terms of a research relationship. We're really excited to be sharing this opportunity and this challenge with UBC. It's certainly unfortunate that we know so little about the therapeutic potential of cannabis. The scientific community is really hungry for results for a bunch of different potential applications. So I think there's a lot of stuff to be doing and as a scientist it's an incredibly exciting area to be in. Even some very basic questions remain unanswered. <laughs>